What's up guys, I am back with another video, and uh, today I am going to be making a little bit of a tutorial video. Last night somebody was like, hey, can you, <coughs> can you make a video on how to install LSPDFR? Now I know there are already tons and tons and tons of videos on how to do this, but you know, I figured mine as well something to record something to do so it's very simple let me just tell you right now all right first thing you want to do is go on Google or any browser you use go to lspdfr.com or lcpdfr.com go into mods and then right here you'll see lspdfr you click on that and here's a lspd first response now I've already downloaded this, so I will just download it again and demonstrate from there. So for this one, we're going to do manual. I think it's the easiest one, or the easiest way. Let me just type this real quick. Okay. <coughs> Wait for this to install. Google's frozen. Just hold on. It's been really stupid lately. It's been lagging like crazy, you know. It's been crashing a lot. Two hours later. <coughs> All right, I got it to work. It was taking forever. Okay, so once LSPD FR has installed, if you have WinRAR, which I highly recommend you use, it's the easiest way to do it in my opinion <coughs> you want to open that up and it will bring you to this right here now it probably looks really complicated but trust me it's not so go to your folders and see I have a shortcut to <coughs> my Grand Theft Auto folder but uh, if you don't what you can do is go to this PC Local disk, program files x86, st uh, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then Grand Theft Auto. Bring you right here. So, <coughs> I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it, but I will show you what you do. So, highlight, or what you can do is highlight everything press control and then click on the things you don't want which are things you don't want are licenses cursor 322 default skin the PNG and I think there might be nope that's it and of course you don't want the little dot it's literally nothing so literally all you do is drag it into here drag it into your root directly directory of GTA 5 <coughs> and uh, from there, you will get this program right here, and then you double click it, which I'll do right now. Just give it a second to load up. Okay, so click the settings button. It's not going to immediately load for everyone else who is just now installing it because it's going to it's going to um, take you through a little bit of a setup process and have you back up your files and stuff. All right, so go into your advanced settings. Oh, sorry, not advanced settings. Go into your plugins, and you'll see LSPD first response right here. What you're going to do if you have more than one plugin, like I do, you just press check all which will automatically load the plugin when you launch your game. So, from there, just click save and launch, and it will launch your game. One eternity later. 
Alright, so once your rage plugin hook has loaded, it will bring you into GT5 story mode. And from there, <coughs> you have two options. You can go to oops, that. You can go to any police station on the map, it'll be this little badge right here. Or you can press F4 and type force duty. Now for me, I like to use I have a bunch of mods inside my uh, LSPDFR, and I like to use custom skins like this, or that, or that, or this. You get the drift. But <clears throat> so for me, I have to force duty because if you go to the police station and um, go on duty like that, you won't be able to use um, the uniforms like that. But I'm going to demonstrate for going on duty. So, <clears throat> like I said, go to any police station you want, as long as it has a badge on it, you walk in. For this police station, you go back here, go into the locker room, go over here, and go on duty. And from here, you have all your different uniforms. You can change the head, the top, the insignia, which is like... Oh, clearly, you can tell what it is. So, for right now, I'm just going to be a normal cop. Okay. Select an exit. From here... Well, for this police station, it doesn't, doesn't do it. You have to do it yourself. But most police stations... Just give it a second to load everything up. Okay, so... For most police stations, after you click select and exit, it'll bring you straight to the garage where you can choose what vehicle you want. But uh, for this police station, when you go on duty, you have to manually do it. So you go over here to the garage, step inside. Right, oh, did it too soon. Right here, I think. Yep, okay. Press E. And you can choose whatever vehicle you want. And again, for me, I have custom cars. I have a lot of custom things on this game. So you're not going to see the things I see unless you download the things I have which if you want I can start including um, all the mods I have in my GTA 5 LSPDFR series but uh, anyway we're gonna choose a uh, we're gonna choose a car and I want this car press select and continue I have custom callouts but for you guys who are just downloading it you're only gonna have a few I can do a tutorial video and anything you guys want I know how to do it all when it comes to LSPDFR it's people think it's very hard but it's actually really simple like downloading um, ELS very easy okay so now you will start getting calls and you can force callouts by pressing X. So we got a vicious dog reported. Press Y and respond. Okay. So there you go. Like I said, very simple. And uh, if you guys do enjoy the video, leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And if you enjoy these tutorial videos and if they're helpful for you let me know that would be great and, I, and it would make me happy because I'm helping you guys out and if you want more tutorial videos comment down below I will do I, I watch my comments and I will do anything you guys want so I hope you guys have a great night and I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one peace out guys